how many participants are you thinking about for your qualitative study? Are you thinking about 12 participants, maybe 20 or 10? In qualitative study, it's challenging to determine the appropriate number of participants because we don't have an agreed methodology to determine the number of participants for your study. There are three factors that you can consider to help you determine the number of participants for your study. So one of the factors is about your research approach. Based on the selected research approach, you can also look into the recommendation that has been given by qualitative researchers concerning the number of participants that we need for you to conduct the research using a specific approach that you have selected. You can also look into best practices. What are the studies that has been done using this approach and how many participants did they use to collect rich information from participants? Another factor that you have to think about is saturation. What number of participants do you need to reach the level of saturation? So the saturation is all about reaching a stage where no new information is being discovered. Getting an idea about the number of participants that you need to reach the level of saturation will help you to decide the number of participants for your study. The last one is accessibility. You may think about the potential number of participants and then you realize that based on maybe your topic or the population that you are focusing on, it's very difficult to assess participants. So accessibility can also affect the number of participants that you need. So what if you don't get the number of participants that you need or what if you are not getting rich information based on the number of participants that you have selected? What do you have to do? You can consider collecting data from multiple sources. So let's say if you are doing an interview, you can think about maybe collecting documents from participants or doing observation or doing focus groups. So collecting data from multiple sources may help you to get rich information to address your research question that you have. So the second strategy is also spending considerable amount of time with participants. It's very important for you to ask all the questions that you need to ask for you to get rich information from participants. It's very important to give participants the time and the chance to express themselves, to give you all the information that they want to give you so that you can get rich information to help you to address your research question that you have. So the last strategy is doing follow-up interviews. So sometimes as you are analyzing your data, you realize that there are some questions that are coming up that you don't have enough data to address. You may go back to some of the participants and interview them to get rich information. So these are the factors that should be considered when you are deciding the number of participants for your study and also the strategies that you use to help you to get rich information from participants and address your research question that you have. Let me know your thoughts. I just want to know the research approach that you are considering and the number of participants that you are thinking about having and what are you going to do to make sure that you can get rich information from participants. And I also be happy to address any questions that you have. Thank you for your time.